Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well Pisces Rising, a weekly tarot reading October 21st to October 27, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are to jump right into it. Right. so the first card which stands for the topic of your week Pisces this is going to be the more, the full card followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here we do have the ace of cups afterwards is going to be the knight of pentacles which stands for the positive aspect and then the last one which represents the guidance the tarot is offering to you that is going to be the uh, temperance card all right, uh, it's quite of a uh, it's quite of a peculiar sense that um, I'm getting from this one. And uh, okay, so the first card, which stands for the topic, is going to be the Fool, and it's catalyzed by the Two of Swords. So what we do have it is a uh, active supporters, and now that makes sense. So what we do have it is a, a new opportunity or an opportunity for you to establish a new beginning into your life because the wolf, the full card is all about the idea of the new beginning, you know. The idea, I mean, it is not that the new beginning is going to happen this week, but it is what you need to think of right now. And that will be the problem, just like with the Ace of Cups on the second position. That will be the challenge. Okay, so why it is the problem? Because... You would not know which one, which path to take. No, because uh, you have to choose in between two two paths that are having. How can I say it? Well, I, I will say it that way. It is because um, you will have to choose among multiple directions, and neither of those directions is going to be so much better than the other. For you to decide, okay, this is this is where I'm gonna, this is what I am going to do, or this is where I'm going toward. Okay, but they could be equally good. They could be, for example, equally bad as well. And you, uh, my point here it is that this is the expression probably in English. It is that you may not know right now which is the lesser evil or which is the greater good. And for that reason, reason while there is an an um, <clears throat> And an opportunity for you to start establishing a new beginning as right now it is just an, an idea for it it looks like that you are going to um, slow the motion of yourself or slow your pace in an attempt to wait out long enough 
so the right decision of which direction you should take for example which person to choose to be in a relationship with you or which job to take or which project to incorporate yourself into to become obvious that decision to become obvious so it is pretty much if we're talking about two people that you have to decide which one you want to go for to me that would speak that you would wait long enough so you see which one is gonna fuck up all right and so the one that fucks up means that you have to choose the other one so for such kind of a waiting we are talking about here it is not like waiting until the to the end of the world all right but waiting until you see which option of yours is going to be more beneficial additionally to that uh the the topic itself in the grand scheme of things kind of predisposed that you're gonna have rather cheerful um, relationships with the people around you not to mention that you are going to charge a lot of uh, those that are spending time with you with quite of an exhilarating energies uh it doesn't look like that as well you're gonna face a lot of problems throughout the week and even if there are problems those problems are going to be rather quite irrelevant in regards to your grand scheme or or in regards to the uh, to the agenda of your life if you will and finally it is in a fantastic fantastic week for you to attract new followers or in other words to build up a new friendships the next card that we do have it is the challenge that you need to face and that is going to be the ace of cups accompanied with the king of wands so so we are talking about this idea once again about the opportunity or an option for you to establish a new beginning into your life which once again it could be a new job it could be a new project that you want to go for or a new relationship and so on and so forth and what we do have here it is the um how do you say it in english it is the lack of urgent, not not the lack of urgency, but the lack of necessity. It doesn't look like that uh, whatever those uh, options of a new beginning are offering to you is something that you would be rather quite interested in, at least at that specific stage in this week, October 21st to October 27th. The Ace of Cups with the King of Wands into a challenging position. First of all, they are passive, uh, passive enemies. Are pointing that your ambition is lying elsewhere. Your ambition, for example, with that new beginning resides into your relationship life. Right now, probably your ambition is more focused in, into career. Or if that opportunity for establishing new beginning resides into your career, your ambition lies elsewhere to enjoy life, for example or to establish new relationships but uh, in order to overcome this um, uh, this challenge one has to kind of act based on the maxima sometimes you have to take what you can get right and although it may not be what you have um, ultimately wanted I mean you have wanted it but it is not what you want as a uh, as a, um, a, a prime priority here you know because everybody wants new job a better job you know everybody wants better relationship but sometimes we are feeling good in our current job and we we want more a better relationship at that point but you know a new better job is not gonna hurt as well so that being said you know you gotta focus right now on what you can get at that particular stage and uh, go forth into this direction and challenging wise additionally um you may lack the belief that uh, this move of yours, this motion to uh, to manifest the idea of new beginning is going to have a um, is going to is going to exert a uh, improvement into your circumstances in a big way. It's going to, but it, it will need a little bit of a time to, to develop, I would say. Once you start uh, manifesting this idea of a new beginning, you are to see that many of your problems or plights that you are facing are going to stop existing simply. Because before you know it, you will start changing concepts or in other words, you are going to abandon certain outdated beliefs and some outdated concepts as well. And slowly, but, but suddenly, a 
a goal or rather like a fulcrum I would say is going to ma uh, manifest or appear materialize in front of you that gives you more eager to proceed on forward not to mention additionally to that that the Ace of Cups is always about transcending one's uh, one's daily routine and one's a uh, reality as well so just to give you the example here, if you want more a relationship right now than a job, but you do have an opportunity for a job and not for a relationship, taking that opportunity for a job may be a prerequisite for you to find your next uh, potential partner in this new job. All right. So you don't know how my point here is that you are seriously underestimating the results, the beneficial results of this new beginning. And that is the biggest challenge. The, uh, the, the positive aspect here, it is the Knight of Pentacles and that is accompanied by the Death card. We do have a person and it's simply this is someone that tells you, oh my God, man, what, what are you waiting for? I mean, I mean, I wish could be at your shoes right now. I wish I could have that, uh, that window of opportunity or rather like that option available to start a new chapter in my life in this field, okay? So that person is gonna envy you, but this is a, a positive envy. It is like, you know, a, a, a kind of like a, a, a very good friend, for example, that cheers for you, and it's kind of like, it is very happy for you having this, uh, having this option in front of you, and they fully are going to understand that things are not going to be as they have been beforehand. You know, in between you two, probably you're going to part ways a little bit. You know, you're going to drift, drift apart. But additionally to that, there will be always a, um, a connection that is going to keep you together. This, connect this connection may thin as the time goes on, but always is going to be there. Now, this person here, uh, they are very practical usually and uh, very systematic. They very well know what they want. And as they place themselves in your shoe, in your shoes, figuratively speaking, they see the true potential of that opportunity that reveals in front of yourself or that idea of a new beginning. And they are to be seriously baffled. Why are you hesitant and reluctant to take it here throughout this week? And they will do whatever they can, you know, to open your eyes and to show you the, the, the real impact a beneficial impact that this new beginning is going to have upon your life and is going to help you in any way they can, although they seem quite preoccupied with their own tasks at that particular stage, but will help you to boost your determinations, you know, to push into this new direction of opening. And the final card, it is in regards to the guidance that Tarot is offering. We do have the temperance here with the... Um, with the Emperor card. So it's quite of a uh, strong, I would say strong and heavy guidance that you are, to, uh, that, that you will have to swallow, I would say. That is for a reason being, it is that these two cards are pointing that uh, everything comes and goes with their pluses and minuses. And uh, I'm saying that because it does look like that for once, uh, this uh, manifestation of an idea is going to have its problems, is going to have its chores, is going to require, you know, your devotion, your resources as well. In generally, you have to show yourself, you can't embark this new road unless you don't show yourself reliable enough to proceed with it to the very end. But above everything else, before you actually go and take advantage of this new idea of, of opportunity to make a significant change in your life or to open a new chapter in your life, you have to sort out everything that you are working upon up until this moment. New job, that's fine, but first finish up your current projects in this job, all right? New relationship, that's great, but you have to make sure that you have sorted out everything in regards to your previous relationships. Because these two cards as a guidance are pointing that wherever you are walking towards, whatever part you choose, at the end, responsibilities are awaiting for you. Responsibilities to manage what you have uh, achieved, to sustain it, 
and to make it a part of your life as well. And that can only happen by one being resigned for the pros and the cons from the um, for, uh, that the goal is going to give him. Right. And uh, simply, simply put, um, I, well, I have a sentence in my mind, but it's going to sound very vulgar here. So I will try to restructure it, restructure it a little bit. You know, you can't dive into the pile of gold uh, and take it and expect that your soul is going to hold is going to go into heaven. You know, you can't have everything. It is the point here. And uh, certain cer certainly you will have to make certain compromises, negotiations, you know, and sacrifices along the way. It is just how a new beginnings works. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading, October 21st to October 27th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.